The new Steel Connection Design module lets you quickly specify the connections in your SpaceCast model and then design or check them. In fact, all you really have to do to design a connection is to select the two members to be connected and then choose your connection type. The rest is done for you. There is also a checking mode in which you can change any components of a connection and then have it checked. Let's begin by designing the connections in the frame you see on the screen. Starting with the left-hand knee, we select the two members involved, right-click, choose Steel Connection Design, and then select the desired connection type. That's all there is to it. You can see that the connection has been designed and has passed with a utilization ratio of 0.81. A green bar at the bottom indicates that it has passed, a red bar indicates failure, and a yellow bar means that the connection has passed, but there is a warning message. If you want to limit your design to certain load cases, you can type them into the Load Cases field at the top, or you can select them from the list of load cases that have been analyzed. In this example, we will leave it blank so that all load cases are considered. Let's save this one and then repeat the process for the ridge connection. If you want to examine the connection in more detail, you can zoom, pan, and rotate. and you can turn off various components of the connection to see parts of it that may be hidden. You can also export any connections to your CAD system in various formats, such as DXF or DWG. Now let's choose the right-hand knee. We could choose the desired connection type as before, or we could copy from an existing connection. For this exercise, let's copy the bolted end plate connection from the left-hand knee. In this case, you can see that the connection has failed due to insufficient capacity of the end plate at the tension flange. This has happened because the connection we copied from the left side is not strong enough for the right side. We could make changes to the bolts, welds, plates, or dimensions until we find a solution, or, better still, just click the Design button. Next, we will design the base plate connections. Starting with the left side, we must choose just one member and then proceed as before. We can then repeat the process for the other base plates. Now let's define a flexible end plate for the connection between the lean to rafter and the main column. And a web side plate for the connection to the lean to column. That completes the input phase and the design of all the connections. We can open the Connection Manager. The Connection Manager is the heart of the module because it lists all of the connections in the model and shows an image of each one as you scroll through them. It also lets you perform a design or check on some or all of the connections if a redesign is required, such as when the model has been changed or after a reanalysis. To see the results of a design or check, you can hover over the colored block next to any connection. Green indicates that the connection has passed. Red means it failed. 
Yellow means it is past, but there is a warning. And white is for connections that haven't yet been designed or checked. You can also examine the results in more detail by clicking the Generate Report button and then scroll or quickly get to any part of the report using the navigation tree on the left. To edit a connection, you could click the Edit Connection button or just double click it in the list. If the auto check option at the bottom is ticked, then as soon as you make a change, the modified connection will be automatically checked. If auto check is not ticked, then you need to click the check button after making your changes. For this connection, let's change to four bottom bolts and increase the plate size to accommodate the extra bolts. You can see that the connection is automatically rechecked after each of these changes. By the way, whenever you make a change, the connection is automatically locked to prevent your changes from being lost if you inadvertently click the design button. If you really want to redesign it and lose your changes, you must unlock it first. Assuming that we want to keep the extra bolts, let's click OK to save the changes and go back to the connection manager. You can see that the connection we just changed now has a C next to it instead of a D, signifying that it is checked rather than designed. Note that if you ever have to redesign the connections due to the model being changed or reanalyzed, the checked connections will remain locked and will simply be rechecked, whereas the designed connections may change depending on the new design actions. The connection module is fully integrated into SpaceGas and all of the connection data is automatically saved with your space gas job. Finally, if you have the space gas portal frame builder, it automatically creates the connections for you when it generates the model.